bass category pulling in here. And it looks like there's some others rolling in, so. Bring it on! Bring it on, here it is. Bring it on. They have one for Big Fin. I see that. Unstack them this day. Okay. You got one? Yeah. Nice. A oh, good Trimmy Lake bag right there, 1693. 1693. And we're weighing one for big fish here. Pick the fish up. I'm like, why want zero, man? 525. 525. Come up and get some pictures. We got a jump fish too, Jeff. Okay. Jump fish. He's kind of low on the on the priority list right now with this sack. Where'd you, uh, did you guys go? Down the lake, up the lake, both. 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 That's what everybody said so far. The only one other one. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you catch them on? Worm and a square bill. Worm and a square bill. That time of year. All right, bring this junk fish up here. I hope it's a big old walleye. Good news. Oh, yes, sir. It is a big old walleye. Nice. Give them to that young lady right there. Go ahead, 2.99. Just a little more. You had a three pounder. <laughs> 2.99 pound walleye. <laughs> this one goes in my truck. <laughs> oh, catch Mary. And they've got one jump fish right here. And it's a good one. One of the boys of the band. They got a nice drum. Oh wow. Nice drum. 333. That's leading the jump fish category. And this will be a total weight of their bass. It'll be 163. 163. We had a, a target weight of 324. But there is a small bag prize in it. If my memory serves me, is that those additional prizes are still 500 bucks? So that could be a $500 fish. Did you catch? Did you catch more than this, or just these two? No, we caught more than that. but okay. they were all small. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, good job, guys. Way to play that strategy of the small bag. The strategy kind of came to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. I know, but not be honest. <laughs> All right, we got another crappie angler bringing him in. Mr. Moreland, I think you fish, how many years, you fish this every year? Three? Did you work him over? Didn't do as good last year. Yeah. 623, 623. There you go. There you go. All right. All right, we got David and Jim Thies. David and Jim Thies. David, David and Jim. Jim, and they're coming in on the bass side. Weighing one. Oh, man. 218, 218. I'm gonna have you come right to this side right over here. Yep, yep. Somebody else said they had some that came unbuttoned. Boat number 36, Mueller and Joe weighing in one. Going for that target weight? What do you think it weighs? Uh, we'll two. two and a quarter. Daniel and Rebecca. 332. I was going to tell you that target weight's 324. That's going to be the target weight. Braun and Miller. Boat number 20. They're bringing in one bass, but they've also got a jump fish. Oh. Oh, somebody back there. They're confused. All right. so odd. Yeah, there you go. 285, 285. Kevin O'Laughlin, boat number 14, and they're on the bass side. And they brought in a nice little jump fish. Probably one of my favorite fish in Truman Lake. Thought I had a whale. Nice little flathead. That's a good one to bring in. 626, 626. Leading the jump fish category. Flathead. Nice. Paul Hager. Coming in with a limit. Good. 11. 
Lock in there. 11 12. 11 12. We got a 525 big fish. I'm going to have you hold a couple of these up, unless you want to weigh one for big fish. You're going to be my first interview today because we just had a few way in. So, uh, What part of the lake did you fish? Up river, down river? Down. Fish down river? Yep. And uh, what did you catch a fish on? Everyone came on a 10 inch worm. 10 inch worm. Did you catch more fish than that? Oh, yeah. A lot more fish? Short fish or just cookie cutters? I limited 45 minutes. Really? On structure? Yep. Okay. They're not behind every tree. You know why? Because I flipped them. <laughs> Good. Did you catch more than one in a spot? Or was it just one on a tree? No, they were. Awesome. Awesome. Well, appreciate the information. Congratulations. Tendal and Tendal. These guys have been fishing this. And they've got a couple of chunkers. How you guys doing? Pretty well. Here, I'm going to give you this so everybody can hear you out there. Talk into that loud and clear for me. Six pounds, 6.08. 6.08. We've got a 525 big fish. You think one of these will go that? Okay. Man, did you guys fish up river or down river? Yeah, <laughs> up the dam. <laughs> up to Otter Creek, got in the, the dirtier water up there. And then came on back. Came on back, yep. Did your fish come from that dirty water or were they more down close to the marina? No, they were up there. They were up there, yeah. good deal. Good deal. Uh, worm, square bill? Nice, nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. Some, everybody's got to have a net man. So, see, you. I was in uh, so, yeah, that's very important. to beat them off first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was like, I didn't catch it. Yeah. 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 How many years have you guys fished this tournament? Nine years. Nine years. Awesome, man. Well, we really appreciate you. Glad to have you back. Hope to see you again. Thank you guys very much. Friends and Bridges. Bridges. Steve Prince, Chris Bridges. Here you go, buddy. I'm going to let you have that. How are you, bud? You're surviving. Got a limit, so. Well, that's. Good solid bag. 1224. 1224. So tell me about it. You run a long way, burn a lot of gas. Nope. Stayed right close. Small boat. Small boat. And yeah, yeah. Worm, square bill. Oh, worm. Right on. Hold a couple of those up. You're gonna have to come up here and hold up a couple of fish. You guys have fished this every year, right? Okay. So this is our tenth year. Thank you. Right. This is our tenth year, and these guys have fished it every year. I know I'm going to miss some people that probably did the same thing. I talked to my brother a minute ago that said he, they fished nine years. But we appreciate you guys coming out and fishing this deal. It keeps growing, sometimes little by little. But uh, as long as it keeps on growing, then, then that's what matters. All right. Great limit of fish, guys. Appreciate you guys very much. Wallace and Burton. Oh, Burnhannon. And my goodness, where'd you buy all these at? Come on! They've got a they've got a sack full here. That's your anchor fish right there. Big kicker. Holy smokes! 1914. 1914. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna let you guys uh, pick out your big fish here. All right, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. That's five and a quarters big fish so far. They're good and lively. 483. 483. Guys, hold a couple up a piece. Really nice sack on Truman. Biggest sack he's had this year. That's a good one. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a time of year is kind of changing, right? Everything's kind of changing. I'm going to give you this. I want you to talk into that real good because I, I want some good information here. You're leading the tournament right now. Right? And you said this is the biggest sack you've had this year. Yes. So that's saying something. We're transitioning into the fall. The water temperature's not really starting to cool down a whole lot. Did you have, Did you pre-fish? You know what? Last, what was it, Tuesday, a week ago? A couple of weeks. We were on 
I'm gonna have you talk into that real good. Tuesday a week ago. Tuesday a week ago, the last time. So today you just went fishing, right? We went fishing. Right? Did you go up river, down river? Did you make a long run? Tebow area. So you burned some fuel. You ran all the way down, back up, uh, catch some bait wise. All on a jig. Now we haven't heard that much today. A homemade jig. I don't know if he's selling any, but I would say it'd be a good time to buy. So you caught him on a homemade jig. Is it like a bucktail or is it plastic or just a rubber jig? Just a rubber jig. Rubber jig and a zoom cord. Were they on a structure? Were they on rocks? Flat on the bottom, and next to trees and bigger trees. Depth right of water. Start clumping trees and nine to twelve. Yeah, nine to twelve. Feet. Nine to twelve feet on the structure. Fishing a homemade jig, jig and port. They caught one, one suspended. One suspended, all right. Were you using live scope for these or just covering water? No, I have a five inch. Yeah. <laughs> that only works half the time. Awesome. awesome. It, it shuts off. Yeah. Off and on all day. <laughs> now, how many years have you fished this? I think nine, but we missed last year because I had a donkey buried. So. All right. All right. Well, we appreciate you. Congratulations on eating the tournament. And uh, give them a round of applause. Bowling and Gardner, Bowling and Gardner, they'll be fishing the crappie side. There he is. How's it going, buddy? Good. All good and lively, so I'm going to pour those in there so I don't have to fight them. Seven good ones makes for 984. 984. Yeah. Good job, boys. Um, I'll let you pick out if you want to weigh one in for big. I think 108 is leading on the big fish side. Okay, we're going to go with that one. One. 61, I'd say that was a good pick. Good pick. Y'all grab a couple of pieces out of there. And we're going to take a picture. Bowling and Gardner, and they're leading the crappie side right now. And Big Fish. And Big Fish. Take this right here. Hold on. Take this right here. And uh, so I assume you're probably upriver, right? And uh, just being out on the water myself. Some of these fish have been stuck to structure, but a lot of fish have been roaming. Your bigger fish, where were they at? Uh, mostly open water. We did come through one little patch with timber, and we caught one big fish off that. The rest of it, all open water, just covers much of the game. Just keeping the trolling motor on high and zooming. So the lakes are like 704, 60 something. So we know that water up there is really, really shallow. When you get out on the flats, there's not much there, but in the channel, is 12 to 16 feet. Were those fish more on the flat stuff or were they in that channel water? Um, early this morning, they're more on the flat as the sun kind of came up to move down to <clears throat> more of the creek channel and everything. But a lot of times they're right on the edge of it. Right on. And uh, jig wise? Uh, all minnows. All, all minnows. All minnows. A hook and a minner. Can't beat it. Well, awesome. Well, you guys are leading and leading big fish. Congratulations. Wouldn't expect anything else. So, appreciate you. Hunter, how many years have you fished this? Sean and Scott Parker. Elizabeth and Scott, Elizabeth and Scott Parker. I'm getting confused on names. All right, they've got one bass and a junk fish. We're gonna weigh your bass first. 222, 222. And they've also got one of the boys in the band here, a drum. One fifty six, one fifty six. Awesome. Well, this deal is this tournament is a little different because there's so much side money. There's the small bag money, there's the large bag money, there's uh, mixed couple money, I believe. Uh, so there's a lot of side pots in this tournament, a lot of ways to make money. And this junk fish. So far, we've had a 0 .08 ounce red uh, sunfish, uh, th three pound walleye, crappie. 
Crappie. Good little Stephanie Crappie. Yeah, hold it down just a little. 761. 761. I got a 161 big fish. Got one in there like that? No. Hold a couple of those up a piece. They're going to take a picture. I think just one. Here you go. You fish upriver, downriver? <laughs> upriver. Upriver. And uh, Hunter Bowling was just up here. He said a lot of the fish were out rolling. They wasn't really on the structure. Is that the same thing you found? He was fishing out of our lot well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a fish. I got it. I got it. Uh, same thing. We were fishing rolling fish out in the channel. Yeah. Okay, just, just chase them one at a time with ice yeah. and, and they was using a minnow. What about you? Menace. Menace? All right. All right. Seems to be the deal today. Well, congratulations. I think that's probably close to second, I think. Somewhere in there. I'm, I'm getting too many now to be. Yes. Yes. You Mike Posey. Mike Posey. Yeah, that's a name we hear almost every year. I don't know how many years he's fished this. Hold up the two There he is. What's up, Mike? How you doing, brother? Good. Good. We're looking for 324. <laughs> huh? that's, what, that's what we're looking for. 277. 277. Hold that up. Take a picture. Did you catch it? No. No? Did you catch some? All right. What'd you catch your ears on? Um, Chatterbait. Chatterbait. There's another one we haven't heard today. Did you guys catch a lot of short fish or just seven fish all day? Sometimes it's a grind. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Appreciate you guys fishing. Thank you very much. Cora and McMichael. And they've got a couple in another. I'll tell you what, we're going to have a whole band full of drummers here in a minute. 406. 406. For their bass weight, and then they've also got a drum for a junk fish. 235, awful close, awful close. If you want to hold a couple of those up, this lady's gonna take your picture. Did you catch this one? No? <laughs> Did you catch any? Not at all. Net man today. Looks like you got a limit though. Never left a mile of the marina. Stayed within a mile of the marina and caught over 12 pounds. 1229, 1229. I'm looking for a 525 big fish if you got one of those in your pocket anywhere. No? But he does have a drum for the jump fish category. The drum were biting good today. 141. 141. Did you catch that drum on a square bill? Brush hog. Brush hog. Rush Hog, we appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Miles and Boyer, boat number 19. Miles and Boyer. Thank you. That's awesome. Come on up here. Come on up here, tell me about it. Crankbait all day. Crankbait all day. Did you catch five? I don't even know how many fish you got. You got five. You got 20 pounds? Not quite 20 pounds. Well, we've got a good sack here, though. Looking good here. Good sack of fish. Throwing that crankbait. 16 pounds even. 16 pounds even. A great sack. A great limit of fish. Seeing some heavy bass bags today. And you said a crankbait all day long? How far did you run from here? See, no, come on. All day. All day went into Cedar Creek. That's a guide answer if I've ever heard it. <laughs> went into Cedar Creek through a crankbait all day and come out with 16 pounds in a John boat. <laughs> boat number three. How are you? You guys smack them today, did you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smell them real hard. <laughs> They've got three. Pretty good. That's right. That's right. Well, we appreciate you coming out fishing, though. 
684, 685, I apologize, 685. Hold up, hold these up, they're going to take your picture. Brett Pickle, boat number 18. Brett's got a bucket full here. What's up, buddy? Oh, you're looking at it. Looks like you guys did well. You want one more kicker with it, would it sold it? 1808. 1808. A lot of these 16, 18 pounders. 5.25 is leading big fish. I don't know if you want to weigh one. 498, 498. So, first of all, had you, did you get to pre-fish at all? No, so just kind of went out today and went fishing. What were you throwing? Spinner bait and a jig. Did you run upriver, downriver? Fished almost every arm, huh? Every arm on the lake. So you burnt some fuel. Did you find anything that was like, this is specific? You know, sometimes you hone in on something like, look, it's got to be a black stump on a point, whatever, just random. Just the good stuff. It just hit rotating through all of it. All right, all right. Well, we appreciate you fishing it all these years. You're going to be up there pretty darn close, so I'm sure there's going to be something in store for you at the end of this. Bindor! Bindor! Bringing in a couple here. 466, 466. I'm gonna have you hold these up. They're gonna take your picture. All right. Have you fished this tournament before? Yes, we have. Yes, you have. How many years have you fished it? Third year. All right. We look forward to seeing you again next year. Brian Patton. Brian's gonna be fishing the crappie side. If you look at these banners around, you'll see Max Motors and Golden Valley Memorial Hospital. You'll see a whole bunch of our sponsors, TC Transcontinental, Champion Brands, uh, Patterson Dental. What's happening? How's it going? Good. Looks like you guys did pretty well today. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. One six one is big fish. One six one is big fish. And oh, one six one. So we got a pair of them. We got a pair of them. Guys, hold that up. A couple of them a piece there. So in talking to the guys that I know, they were all up river. Said the fish were pretty well roaming and they caught them on a minnow. Anything different than that that you can think of? Yeah, we didn't catch any of them. All on structure. Uh, steak beds. Steak beds. All in steak beds. Were they a minnow or a jig? Minnow. And you had to hold it in front of them for about 45 to 50 seconds. Okay. And then they finally decide I might or might not bite it. And then they bite it. They bought it. If they bit it, they did. Now on a jig, he was fishing jig all day. On a jig, when they hit it, they hit it. Yeah. But if they didn't, they didn't. Yeah. So yeah, we there were several fish we fished after probably ten minutes. Wow. So. Wow. So just kind of finicky, maybe this little front. I know uh, lightning. You know we had a lot of lightning last night, a lot of lightning this morning, and sometimes these fish don't like that lightning. And so I think sometimes that can matter because you know everybody's been fishing. A lot of guys been fishing all week long, and the bite has been stellar. You know the best summer. Yeah, some of the best fishing that there's been, but a little storm system comes in, a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder, and it probably just kind of made it a little edgy. Five to seven feet of water. Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Wyatt and Art. Wyatt and Art. How's it going, fellas? All right. Come on now. This guy doesn't want to get in the, in the boat here. 613, 613. What's up? Get up. Come on. Come tell me a story. 195. 195. And I know you caught more fish than that. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. How many fish did y'all catch today? Two. Alright. What'd you catch it on? Silver mana. 
<laughs> and a bobber. <laughs> he caught him on a worm. I right, appreciate you guys. Come on up here. What's your name? Austin. Lawson. Austin. Austin. Austin what? Nice Kern. 44, I think it is. 1021. 1021. That ain't bad. You want to hold a couple of these up and they can take your picture? We just need one more for that coveted limit. Yeah. And uh, did you have some get off or? No, I was just uh Right on, right on. Christian Delosier. Christian's got three of them. 759, 759. Here, hold a couple up. How many years you fish this? You fish this almost every year, right? Four or five years? Last name of Ray. Ray. When they bring in this one fish, we're looking for that one fish that weighs 324. It's going to make it? No. 262. 262. Hold it up. She's going to snap your picture right there. Your hair looks great. Beard stellar. Martin, crappie side. Weigh-in line's going to close in about nine minutes. Eight or nine minutes. Here we go, looking for that small bag crappie. Point four one. Point four one. That could be a five hundred dollar fish, I think. <laughs> Play it smart, boys. Play it smart. That's right. Maxwell and Maxwell. That just goes to show you ain't gotta be the biggest dog, just the smartest dog. Maxwell and Maxwell, what's up? Dude, you almost needed two milk crates. Nice limit of fish. Nice limit of fish. 1771. 1771. We've got a 525 big fish right now. And each of y'all grab a couple out of there. Right on. We'll get those dudes right back in the water. You're going to take this. You're going to speak right into it. And you're going to tell me what you caught them on. Worms and jigs. Up river, down river, another arm of the lake. Down river. Did you have to cover a lot of ground or? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Burnt some fuel. <laughs> right on. What color worm? Plum. Plum. Old trusty. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Karen Cook and Hunter somebody. Baloo. <laughs> and they've got a limit. Good job, fellas. 1333. 1333. You guys hold a couple of those up a piece there. A jig and a spinnerbait. They're all in the same spot. Run around a lot. There's two areas. Job and Mueller. Job and Mueller. Here he comes. And they've got three. 833. 833. You want to hold a couple of them up right quick? She'll snap your picture. Did you lose them last two? Yeah, it was rough. It was rough? A lot of shorts. A lot of shorts, he said. Mr. Tabor, a name that we hear quite a few years. Hello, young man. Looks like you did well. 794, 794. Livingston, and he's got five. And a junk fish. Another one of my favorites. Good and lively. 1083. 1080. That's one to be proud of. We had one of these a little bit earlier. There's another one of those pretty flatheads. That's going to be their junk fish, and he's going to weigh 594. 594. I'll tell you what's cool about that fish is he'll live in a coffee cup. Them things are very stout. Ain't he swimming the grease just right? So what'd you catch these on? All of them on Brush Dogs and Worms. Did you stay close to the marina or did you have to run a long way? Mouth is a Tebow. Right on. So down in the cleaner water. Matthews and Starford. Another name we hear year after year. Did well, it looks like. Back again, he said. Back again. 1424. 1424. Guys, hold a couple of those up. What about you guys? What would you throw in today? 
shaky head. And when we get to uh, shaky head, the one we haven't heard today, but when we get to that cut line and everybody's receiving that paycheck, I'll get more detail from these guys. Appreciate you guys. Hendrix. When lines close, you got to be in line at this time. 1278, 1278. <laughs> Greenway, Greenway. Look at here, he's searching for 502, I tell you what. I may have to use both hands. 131, 131. Might just do it. Stewart and Plank, a limit of seven. 792, 792. How are we doing, fellas? Good. A few more sponsors. We'd like to thank Clinton Tourism, Greg Smith, Ford, Tech Electronics, Quality Plus Service, uh, Madison Auto Repair, Jim Falk Motors. A few more of the sponsors. Thank you. And they got four. They got four. How are you guys doing? Did he put you on them today or what? Yeah. <laughs> All right, 280, hang in there. We're gaining. 285, 285. Jeremy Harrow, fishing by himself, I believe. What's up, brother? 739, 739. Campbell and Lankford. You need a hand? <laughs> they got a good limit. Do you have to carry this guy all day? Fifteen eighty-six. Fifteen eighty-six. I'm looking for a five twenty-five. Did you catch a whole bunch of them? Yes. They were all just like this. Right on. Baker. First of all, tell me about number five. Did he fall through one of these holes? <laughs> Eleven point one two. Eleven point one two. You want to hold a couple up? Real quick. Garrett and Harris and Wills. Are these dirty water fish? No. No. All clear water fish. Seventeen oh five. Seventeen oh five. I'm looking for a five point two five. Four six seven. Four six seven. Let's snap a couple pictures real quick, and we're gonna get those guys. Thirty miles. You went up the Osage. Okay. Tom Sack and Jamie Herbright. 517, 517. They've also got a junk fish, a white bass. And he weighs 128, 128. Mike Valentine, Noel Fernandez. Mike Valentine, Noel Fernandez. Good bag of crappie, they've got seven. 9.30, 9.30. Turney and Kenneth. Turney and Kenneth. 5.88, 5.88. And they've got a jump fish that's a drum. And he's going to weigh 2.30. I'm going to weigh this guy first just to get him out of the way, but we got another flathead. For the junk fish category. 803, 803. I was telling them that's probably my favorite fish in the lake. And they've also got one bass. Come on, 324. No, 342. Rich Campbell and Rhonda. Great bag of fish. 1491. 14.91. Bet you. Why don't you guys hold up a couple? Get them out there. All right. These guys have fished this every year in our mixed couple division. Give them a round of applause. Trio and Carter. Trio and Carter. They've got a good limit. 17.40. 17.40. Corey Mantonia, Marty Snyder. Seven. <laughs> 
for the small bag and the exact weight fish was Mr. Martin. Here it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> Come on in. Stand here in front of that. Get your own this was planned the whole time, huh? <laughs> so just so you know, that paid 400 bucks. Yeah. 400 dollars. Uh, I appreciate you guys. All right, in third place, went in 824. Oh, the fourth place. Tabor in fourth place. $130. I got some money. Thank you. You betcha. Thank you, Jeff. You betcha. So in third place, winning $265 with a weight of 8.24. Campbell, Jenny Campbell. And his daughter, Little Campbell. Stand in front of that Yeah. I don't know what I did with that microphone. She told me earlier that she caught all the fish. She caught all the fish. You can have microphone too, Glenn. Thank you. Yeah, second place, weighing 9.30 in seven fish, $345, Mike Valentine, Noel Fernandez. Mike Valentine, Noel Fernandez. Again, they won 345 bucks. Right over here. And we kind of talked to you a little bit before. All jigs, half and half Roman fish. What was the best depth of water? Oh, probably like 13. 13 foot? So a lot of them were out in the channel or close to it? Yeah. There ain't that much water up there. <laughs> but uh, did you fish any like steak beds or porcupines or anything like that? No. All just natural stuff. Our, our biggest fish, our biggest fish come off a of pile of junk fish, catfish stuff sitting on piles of the he caught it, he flipped in there and caught the biggest fish of the day. It was just on top of all those fish. You're sitting there with a bunch of junk. Yeah, it was like, whoa. <laughs> so, did you guys move a lot or did you just stay in one area and keep pounding on it? Yeah, we just got needed to move a little more, yes. <laughs> Covering ground. All right, we appreciate you guys. Okay, so we had a tie for big fish. We had two 1.61 fish come in. And so the girls were talking. I was like, what do we do? And I said, generally the heaviest bag is the tiebreaker on, on the, the, if you have the same weight. And the girl said, I tell you, let's just split it between the anglers. And I said, all right, I'll let the guys know. So I went to Hunter Bowling, who had one of the 161s, and Brian Patton and his partner had the other 161. I said, Hunter, they're gonna split the big fish pot. Is that okay? And he said, I tell you what, just give it to those guys. So, Brian, if you wanna come up. <laughs> guys, there's a lot of cutthroat sports in the industry. And I'm telling you, there's nothing like outdoors men and women, and that's a prime example. I'm happy to call them friends. 160 bucks for, for Big Fish. Thank you. Thank you and thank Hunter. <laughs> thank the ladies. Thank everybody. So that brings us to first place winning $690. Hunter Bowling and his partner, I forget your first name. Derek. Derek Gardner. They weighed 984. And they won $690. And they also won the heaviest bag weight. The heaviest bag weight in the crappie is going to be the same, right? That's in the $690, correct? Do you have a heaviest bag? Okay, that's random and mixed couples. All right. They got your picture? All right. I think I talked to you already, but I'm going to give this back to you. You said menace. You said there were a lot of roamers. And close to a channel edge. Um... Anything specific where you're like, man, Jeff, if I was going to tell you how to go catch him, this is what I would do. 
can basically just go up there, look at your graph, um, see a channel on your uh, <coughs> on your uh, on your graph, and just cover that water. Uh, make sure you go fast. You see one, you're gonna know it's a crappie. Catch it. Catch that. Keep on moving. Go fast you can. Fast you can. Fast. You can. Was there like a lot of shad around? I've been up there this week catching some fish, and what I noticed is like there'd be like big schools of shad, and then you'd see a fish here, and then a fish here, but they were bigger shad. Yeah, we really didn't see too many shad today. A lot of carp, a lot of catfish. Uh, we see more shad when we got in the flat, but in the channel there weren't as many shad. Okay, all right. So just out there looking for something to eat. All right. Well, we appreciate you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate your sportsmanship as well. All right, now we got a, a random drawing, or a mixed couple drawing first, and it's going to be for 200 bucks. So mixed couple drawing. Trying to get just one. Jeremy and Jamie Hill. Jeremy and Jamie Hill. No, you got to come up too. You're in the picture. They are gonna, they're silent auctioning this quilt off, so if you want to bid on it, the sheet's on the back of it right here. I'll tell you, I, I don't know, I guess I'm able to do this, right? It's up to 200 bucks. So if you want to bid over 200 on this quilt, thank you guys. This will be the Saturday random drawing for another $200. Quarterman Tony Marty Snyder. Congratulations, fellas. Appreciate you guys. All right, now we're going to start on the back side, and it's going to pay down 10 spots. 10th place. When 14.24, winning 130 bucks. Matthews and Starforth. Matthews and Starforth. We're going to talk a little more one more time. I'm going to give you that. So, well, thank you very much. 1424. You know, there was a time in this, this summer where a lot of guys would have killed for a 14 pound back. Today we saw some bigger than that, obviously. But what do you think is changing? What's the big change coming into we're at the end, end of September now? Are you thinking they're coming out of a summer pattern into a fall, or are they just... All of them in main lake fish. Did you catch yours on structure? Anything specific? Cedar trees? All hardwoods. And what bait? Shaky head. How big a head? Quarter ounce. They grab it on the fall or they pick it up off the bottom? Grabbing it off the bottom. All right. A lot of good information there. We appreciate you guys. In ninth place, win 1491. It's going to be Campbell and Campbell, Rich and Rhonda. Rich and Rhonda. Rhonda, come up and tell me how you caught them all. <laughs> Hundred and seventy bucks. Tell me about it. Upstream, downstream? Both. Went both ways. Did you run very far from the marina? No. No. What'd you catch them on? We were boat two. Oh. And you stayed real close, huh? Stayed close. Three square bill. And a couple went on a spinner bait and one on a chatter bait. Okay. And my partner caught one this year. Hey! Give it a round of applause! <laughs> So, how good is he on the net, man? Did he net your fish? Did he do all right? <laughs> Got it in. Got it in. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you, guys. In eighth place, weighing 1586, weighing 250 bucks, Jared Campbell and Darren Lankford. Jared's also a 10-year veteran of the tournament. 
Do you? <laughs> That's how I went all day. Uh, huh? Yeah. So I was trying to figure it out. I thought that something's wrong because he switches partners here, there, and yonder. So either something to do with him or something to do with the guy that heard him eating Maui all the time. <laughs> he stayed in the back. I need a bigger boat next year. <laughs> which, which, which direction do you guys go? That way about a mile and that way about a mile. That way about a mile. All right. Anything, maybe a half mile. Is there anything specific that maybe you know, is different from uh, we're pitching a worm or pitching a square bill that... Well, it's kind of funny today. It's changed. We had three different weather patterns today, and it changed all three times for us. Now, the guys, the guys who are scoping and brush piles and stuff, I'm sure it didn't change that much for them. I'm kind of surprised they were in them as cloudy as it was. That's why I didn't go that way. But right. we caught them when the sun come up, the shad come up, and they really got shallow. Um, we caught them in about four foot of water on square bills, really good for about an hour, hour and a half. Then it got cloudy again, and they went right back to the bottom. But the shad, you just look for them shad. Wherever they're at, that's where they're at. Yeah. I mean, we fish, most of our fish come in eight foot of water, six to eight foot of water, on the bottom. Uh, okay. We did have one little run with square build. Well, actually, Jared did. He caught, I was still flipping, and he ended up catching two before I could even get mine out. Right on. But, yeah, it was, it just changed two or three times. It was kind of tough fish. I mean, we caught several keepers, but... It was kind of tough fishing. You really had to work. So we talked to the crappie guys, and, and the bite's been really, really, really good. But then that little storm moved in last night, and, you know, whether it was the lightning and the thunder, you know, we've seen it guiding lots of times. I've heard Richard Bowling say it a million times that these fish don't like lightning. Uh, do you think that affected the bass too, then? Yeah, I, I did do. They went straight to the bottom. They don't like lightning. Okay. I, I mean, not caught them in lightning, but yeah. kind, of like, kind of like us. We head for the hills when it's lightning. <laughs> No, they it's they just went to the bottom. It was tough this morning. I lost one like the third or fourth flip this morning, and it just you couldn't feel them. They didn't want to eat, and then when you set the hook, they might just barely have it and come off. It, they just didn't want it that lightning. But once that lightning left, turned into rain, it really kicked on. I, the guys that caught really caught. Yeah, I mean we had a lot of limits brought in. We had a lot of really good. I mean. You know, 14 pounds to get 10th place in a 50 boat tournament. I mean, that's that's incredible. You know, I mean, that's uh, looking at the weights through the, the Joe Bass and some of these other tournament trails that's been all summer long. This is pretty solid. It was a solid. It's as good as it's been all year. Yeah. And what do you think with the cold front and stuff coming in? Do you look for it to get better or worse? Oh, it'll get a lot better, uh, and and it'll get better for more people. Uh, the fish will get more aggressive. You will throw moving baits instead of having to flip. I mean, like this afternoon, I was really having to just crawl that thing through the roots, and it was really hard to get it through there without getting hung up. But it'll get better as that cool front comes in. They'll start moving shallow. The chat will. You start throwing spinner baits. And, you know, anybody can catch most spinner. Even Bridges and Prince can catch most spinner. <laughs> so you lost one on the fourth flip. Is it hard to keep your mind in the game when you know things are like like they're just not getting it good? They're not eating it good. They're coming off. You know, what's that transition of this is going to be one of those crummy days? I would imagine everybody in here lost a fish today. So you just better, you better get over it or these guys will move your butt. <laughs> All right. Well, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for the information. All right. In seventh place, went 16 pounds even, winning 250 bucks. Miles and Boyer. Miles and Boyer. Now these guys gave me some line about fish at Cedar Creek in a John boat. <laughs> and, and, oh, Louie. <laughs> it's fancy, it's French. They caught him foot deep under a bobber on a black jelly bean type deal, but give me the real the real deal here. That's the real deal. <laughs> I swear. That's us blazer boat. I brought the old man with me. We fished old school, no live scope. Crank bait, about three foot of water. Purple and chartreuse all day long. Awesome. He so, started throwing it, and I could not catch anything awesome. at all in plastic. And I, that's me. I'm a finesse guy, and he knows it. And I switched, and it works. That's great, man. If you don't know what an SS Blazer is, it's an aluminum boat. It's got jet motor, right? It's jet boat, so you've probably heard it running, but maybe not very far. We Cedar started out first, and ended up last. <laughs> yeah. The Cedar Creek is right there. And the uh, guy here, as long as I have, and these guys... You know, people will call and say, where's the bite at? I'm like, man, they've been biting good in Cedar Creek, and that just become like a, uh, 
a generic answer, just a, that's how it always was. But this is so true because it does get really good, and even the crappie guys can tell you it gets really good. It's a, it's a big cove, it's a big creek. The fish is kind of like a lake by itself. You can almost never leave it all year long. Yeah, tell, but, them about, uh, tell them about being concerned about the moment John don't like about this one with the lightning. Oh, yeah, I was lightning pretty good. I would <laughs> say. We was a little concerned with that. Yeah. We dance yeah. around the same boats all day long. We, we run into this guy, and then we run into them. I think they're right there with us. So. Yeah. Awesome, uh, man. Really well, congratulations, and well done. Also, I want to say thank you guys for cooperating with a little delay this morning. You know, Mother Nature likes to throw wrenches, and uh, at the end of the day, safety is of most importance, so just appreciate everybody uh, cooperation there. Let's see, sixth place, weighing 1693 winning $260, Jeff Hook and Kevin Pitts. And also, in lieu of them making two trips, I'm going to go ahead and get the check for the big fish, weighing 5.25. They had the big bass of the day. And big fish is going to pay 500 bucks. $760 payday. That's a pretty good solid day. But if they wanted a little cherry on top of the ice cream, they brought in a junk fish too, which was a 2.99 pound walleye. So caught a really nice walleye. Congratulations guys, thank you very much. Fifth place, weighing 1705, Parrish and Whittle. Parrish and Whittle, 280 bucks. Thanks, sir. You betcha. You betcha. I know we spoke a little bit up there. What'd you catch him on? Uh, mainly Cinco. Mainly a Cinco. Well, that's something different than what we've heard. Just a uh, Texas rig or wacky rig? Okay, Texas rig. Structure mostly? Were you live spoken or like just structure or what? Uh, mainly structure. Mainly structure? Yeah. All right. Um, are they suspended or close to the bottom? Right on the bottom. Stuck in the mud. Uh, that's been kind of the consensus. I think the weather kind of had this thing pushed down a little bit. Well, good. Well, congratulations. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. In fourth place, 17.40 with a 360 bucks. Carter and Torito. Carter and Torito. More loops around there he is. You betcha, brother. They're going to take the picture right there. And I know we spoke a little bit earlier. You stay pretty close to Marina or did you run off? Uh, we ran quite a ways. Ran quite a ways. And uh, what bait was best? Uh, jig. Jig. Any yeah. certain color? Uh, green pumpkin. Green pumpkin. Primarily. Yeah. Uh, I know everybody says that, but it's really <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like the Cedar Creek deal. Yeah, it's kind of like Cedar Creek. <laughs> uh, what depth of water? You know, everybody's saying these fish are stuck in the mud. Is that an 8 foot or 20 foot or? Uh, we caught fish in two foot today, and we caught fish in ten foot today. So, uh -huh. uh, all of yeah. it. I mean, we just kept moving, and you catch one here and one there. So. When the water's this warm, sometimes you can swim that jig, or you can work it like a worm type deal. Did you guys work in the bottom mostly, or swimming? Primarily on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Right on. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank Appreciate you. it. In third place, win $650, weighing 17.71, Maxwell, Team Maxwell. There you go. I'm going to take your picture. And again, some of these guys I spoke to, but not everybody was here, so I'm going to run through it again. What was the best bait today? A jig and a 10 inch one. Jig and a 10 inch one. Rock ledges. Rock ledges. Deeper water? Yeah, 10 foot. Okay. Right on. Right on the bottom, I guess. Or... Okay. And, uh, two chatterbait fish, like this thing. Well, there you go. Chatterbait running across the bottom. Yeah. Right on. Well, congratulations. We appreciate you guys. In second place, winning 850 bucks. Weighing 18.08, Brett Fickle. 
And I know we spoke quite a bit as well, but best bait was? Uh, spinner bait and a jig with a Palmer's Custom Bait on it. Palmer's Custom Bait, okay. That's a local kid here. And you said you fished every arm of the lake? Yep. All of them? We spent, we burned a whole half tank of gas. <laughs> <laughs> was there anything that was like, you know, we found this and we're going to stick with this all day? No, we fished everything. Just good stuff. I always catch fish on them. That's where they were. Just sticking and moving, rotating the sweet spots. Yep. Right on. Well, we appreciate you guys. Congratulations. And in first place, winning thirteen hundred dollars cash money. This this one's a little thick. Wallace and Burnham. We got to talk quite a bit earlier, and I said, "How much pre-fishing did you do?" He said, "Well, I fished Tuesday last week." <laughs> So they just went fun fishing today, and if I remember, it was a homemade jig. Oh my golly, and there's one right there. The secret bait. And you said you, you had a pork on that? Yeah. Yep. Zoom pork on that. And that's a, a green pumpkin, right? Pretty well, pretty well green pumpkin. And that's a three-eighths, three-eighths ounce, big old uh, extra wide hook on there, and you make that, right? Well, that's pretty special, and it cashed a big old check today. So, congratulations, we appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, we had a fish exact weight or closer without going over when weighing one fish. Uh, that's also a $500 purse, so some strategy went into that. The target weight was 324. Um, somebody brought in a 285, was the closest without going over. And that was Braun and Miller. Braun and Miller. 500 bucks. What's that? <laughs> That's the nice thing about this tournament, man, is uh, you can play your cards right, you know, and you can get an extra, even a random drawing, you know, is for a lot of money. But, uh, you know, it's like, hey, look, we've only got three. We know we're probably not going to catch a check with six or eight pounds, you know. It's like, let's just take in that one, two pounder and, you know, 15 inch line wiper and see what happens. You go. <laughs> got you $500. You go. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. And another one for 500 bucks is going to be the smallest uh, coming in, which is 1.31. And that's going to be Greenway. Greenway. Hey, 500 500, right? Did you guys catch more fish than that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this was a strategic deal. Everything was small fish. Yeah. Yeah. But caught fish most of the day? Yeah. Well, first half of the day. Half of that. Yeah. Yeah. And you still cut a check. Yeah. Only in this tournament does that stuff happen. It's pretty awesome. And also this year we had a junk fish pot. If you paid to get into that junk fish pot, it was just the biggest fish that wasn't in the category that you were fishing. And so we had a big hybrid brought in. It weighed nine pounds even. That's a monster hybrid. And I was talking to these guys earlier and they said they could have caught 70 pounds of them. Said they were thick and they tore up a lot of equipment today. But Marty Watson dug along 200 bucks in the junk fish pot. Again, these are 10 year guys. Um, let's fish this every year that we've had it. I'm going to get right in front of there and I'm going to take a picture in front of that quill. And then we've got a drawing for the mixed couple. It's another 500 bucks. Just for fishing, even if you didn't catch one. Hendrix! Team Hendrix! They won it last year and they won it this year. That's awesome. Don't forget my 100 when this is over. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But here's what's funny is I overheard something when we were weighing in. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call on 
Miss Kim here because she said, she told him, you're fired. <laughs> and I was like, well, what? they had a limit of fish. And I said, what's he fired for? She said, they ain't big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Great job, congratulations. You what? Oh, okay, you're rehired, she said. <laughs> Okay, Saturday random drawing, so all you folks are in this. This is everybody, so I hope nobody left early. Philip Burke Schneider and Junior Landis. $500. He did? Boy, that's bad for that guy. He said the guy that we drew tonight won last night, he wasn't here. That'd been a thousand bucks. If I'd have showed up for a thousand bucks, I'd have showed up for ten. Okay. okay. All right. The quilt uh, went to Alan Stevens. Two hundred fifty bucks. Tracy. Tracy put this together. So let's give everybody a round of applause for this. This is, this is pretty cool. It's something, uh, I'm going to turn it around. You guys good? So it does have all the stuff on it. It's even got the Angler shirts on it with all the sponsors' names and everything. So that raised another $250, so super cool. kids get um, dental services. We have one more thing for Jeff and, and Natasha, who help us every year. This is a $50 gift certificate to um, Primitive Old Pearl Wine. Thank you very much.